absolutely crush the golf ball with this simple drill. Now, so many golfers think they get ball position right, but then fall back into those terrible bad habits and striking goes with all clubs. Now, this channel is powered by the viewers and we're picking out Lockie's question today. But what I suggest to you is make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you turn your bell on and get your comment down below because then you will not miss a video. When you get that notification of your tip, you can watch it and really make sure you improve. Let's get into today's video. Now this is exactly how you can set it up and something you can do on the grass range or something you can do on a driving range mat. So I've got five golf balls down here. I've got my first golf ball, which would be sort of my ball position for my pitching wedge and my nine iron. The second one for my eight and my seven, then my six and my five, then my four iron and sort of my hybrids and my fairway woods. And finally finish on the one that's teed up, which is my driver. And when I'm hitting balls on the grass, or on the range, I would leave them exactly where they are. Now with your five golf balls down on the ground, all I would do is I'd move my golf ball into the position relative to sort of my guide. So I know straight away, that's where my driver would sit. This is where my pitching wedge would sit. And remember, I'm halving each of those golf balls and moving up half a golf ball as I go through the set. Now it's so important having the correct ball position because too far back in our stance, we might sort of get too steep on it. Too far forward, we can end up thinning it all the time. So let's hit one with pitching wedge here. Here's a bit of a player cam perspective. You can see exactly where I've got that ball positioned. It allows you to get great ball then divot contact. Okay, let's jump a little bit further forward now and go with seven iron. I've just got a few of my clubs here. I've gone, I've gone with odds. That's my five. <laughs> they all look very similar, these bladed clubs. So I've got my seven iron now. Again, just roll your ball into position. So then it would be pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, seven iron. Get your stance. You know then, you've got your guide in front of you. A lot easier to stand up and strike it away. Finally, moving through to that five iron. Can you see how easy this is to get it right? And one thing I'd say is play close attention to what I'm doing here. I'm being quite diligent on where that ball is exactly placed on that grass to make sure I get it right here. So you go on the golf course and it's one less thing to think about, right? Think about how many swing thoughts you have on the course. Get this right here. It's then automatic. So come and look, face on perspective here. This is where I've got my five iron. And of course, you might hit more than one shot with each, but this is just to show you. So again, it would be pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, seven iron, then we're into six iron and five iron. Need to move that a little further forward. Take my stance. I know it's correct. And how you know it's correct is always make sure that that driver one is inside that left heel and work backwards. So we can then strike this away. Oh, get crushing that ball. We've got to hit a driver one, haven't we? We've got to hit a driver one. Now let's hit one with driver. So placing that down, again, you've got your guide. You know exactly where you're going to pop it down. And you move in, stand to it, and you're ready to hit. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to get your question, subscribe, and I'm sure to help you out and play your best golf this summer.